Hello everyone, you have Royce here and welcome to our channel since video 101. So for this episode, we're going to feature another cultivar of the Trifasciata species. And uh, this cultivar is having the official ID as Grey Lady. The Grey on it is spelled with an A, though it can uh, still be spelled with an E. Uh, for Old English, uh, we follow the uh, spelling of the one with an A. Uh, now, now, nowadays for this uh, cultivar. So, uh, this uh, cultivar's name is again uh, officially it is Grey Lady, but in the market it is known or it is known with uh, other names as well. One uh, or several of which, uh, or some of the names that it is known with in the market or the trade names for it would be uh, Silver Princess. Uh, miniature Silver Queen, Silver Star, uh, Silver Sword. Uh, Silver Sword, uh, I would kind of agree with it because uh, the counterpart of uh, this uh, cultivar of uh, Trifasciata is the uh, Black Sword, which I will be featuring uh, one of these days. Uh, they are very the same in characteristics with regards to the uh, leaf length and uh, leaf size. Uh, <clears throat> however, they uh, differ uh, with regards to the color of the leaf with black sword being uh, a variegated type and with uh, and is being a dark green clone of Trifasciatus. Grey Lady is classified or is a pale green clone of uh, the Trifasciata species. It belongs to the uh, compact group. However, like I always say, compact group of Trifasciatas within that group, there are a wide leaf variety of Trifasciatas. There are narrow leaf type uh, or variety of Trifasciatas. Uh, <clears throat> you could say that the white leaf uh, counterpart of uh, silver uh, princess or gray lady would be the moonshine but uh, the only uh, strange characteristics that I have noticed is that moonshine will not give you a true to leaf uh, propagation when you leaf propagate moonshine you'd either uh, end up with uh, trifasciata robust the uh, banded form or the green form trifasciatas uh, <clears throat> On the contrary, Grey Lady, when you leaf propagate this uh, Sansevieria cultivar, you'd end up having the same type. So it is true to leaf. Uh, it appeared in the market without uh, anybody uh, introducing it or giving a name for it. So we don't have any information on who really was the first person to. Uh, introduce Grey Lady or uh, cultivate Grey Lady but uh, what we uh, experience with it is that it only appeared in the market so I don't have a name to give you with regards to who cultivated it and uh, one of my uh, theory is that Grey Lady is a product of leaf propagation from a pale green clone of uh, Trifasciatas and when that pale green clone was uh, leaf propagated, it ended up giving out uh, Grey Lady. And Grey Lady, when you leaf propagate it uh, again, it is true to leaf. It will not transform to a banded type because it is also, uh, in my theory, it is already a product of leaf propagation. So therefore, uh, if you leaf propagate it again, you'd still have the same form a uh, silvery pale green clone of uh, lat narrow leaf uh, compact trifasciata that is true to form uh, with regards to uh, having an offset or leaf propagating it so you'd end up with the same form not not unlike the other uh, trifasciata cultivars which uh, are product of mu mutation and not a uh, product of leaf propagation when a uh, mutated uh, trifasciata is being leaf propagated there are chances that you won't or most of the time you will get a not true to form uh, <clears throat> product from the leaf propagation because it will give you the base form of trifasciatas or the banded uh, form of the species
or the the base the the banded form are the base uh, form of the Trifichata species. So, uh, with regards to um, Grey Lady, if I were to uh, focus it, it reminds me of Trifichata longitudinal lines. Longitudinal lines, uh, for everyone's information, is the product when you leaf propagate pantal sensation. So, uh, <clears throat> Also, one of my theories as to where uh, Silver Princess came from because as I focus this uh, plant, uh, these marking of very, very thin longitudinal lines uh, right here, you see them? It reminds me of uh, longitudinal line, uh, the Trifasciata uh, leaf propagation that is named as longitudinal stripes. They, it is a, a product of leaf propagation of bantle sensation. So, uh, <clears throat> there might be uh, an instance wherein someone was able to leaf propagate bantle sensation and uh, came up with a silver uh, or a pale green clone which is what I have or what I'm showing you right now. Uh, the uh, Trifichata cultivar Grey uh, Lady So uh, uh, As far as uh, my observations uh, I think those are the uh, History or uh, some background that I can give you and as well as we uh, when we are uh, Featuring the plants. I'm also checking now. I have uh, seen some uh, pest in here it's not very severe so I can just spray something on it you could either spray hy hydrogen peroxide I don't usually spray uh, water-based uh, chemical uh, insecticides because uh, once you uh, mix or mix uh, the uh, the chemical with water, uh, water sometimes is in uh, impure and thus will uh, <clears throat> ha uh, will uh, result to some leaf infections if you're not careful. If your water is not very clean, so however, if you use uh, hydrogen peroxide or perhaps uh, alcohol, um, it doesn't do any damage with the plant. Uh, uh, in fact, I would strongly suggest alcohol because one of the reasons why is alcohol would uh, dry very very fast and no moisture would be retained on uh, the leaf when you spray it. Uh, another uh, characteristic of using alcohol is that uh, it makes the uh, wound or the bite marks of the uh, pest uh, callus faster or heal faster so uh, as you inf uh, apply alcohol on uh, human uh, biology it does the same uh, characteristics when you apply it to plants it disinfects the leaf or any external uh, substance on the leaf that you wouldn't want and then it helps the leaf uh, dry faster and the wounds also dry faster if you spray alcohol so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spray it. <clears throat> Spraying alcohol uh, melts down the uh, the body of uh, the aphids, and uh, it doesn't do any damage to the uh, plant leaf. So uh, there are a f there there are several. Uh, benefits why I use uh, alcohol on uh, pest like aphid because it disinfects the bite marks of the aphids and it uh, the alcohol dries very very fast no uh, moisture is being retained and it helps the wound uh, the plant wound heal or callus faster so uh, there you go folks uh, let's try to check this one Sometimes the uh, pest would hide on this part of uh, the Trifichata, so I, I'll have to spray uh, some alcohol on it. I'm not sure if it's a uh, very small spider or still uh, aphid infection or aphid uh, pest. 
but uh, th- those are the spots where you would usually get uh, pest on Trifasciata species. So uh, just take uh, from time to time, uh, take time to uh, check uh, your Trifasciatas if they are, there are any pests hiding on the uh, leaf uh, tips of your Trifasciatas. So I guess we're done with uh, discussing the uh, most probable origin of uh, gray lady and uh, what we'll do now is we'll take measurements so like i said this is uh, this cultivar is part of the compact group so compact group would not grow tall taller or would not reach the height of two feet as you can see there this is uh, my 24 inch ruler and that's uh, where I have situated or positioned the 24 inch ruler and we are just currently at 17 inches for the uh, leaf length of uh, Santibirita Fischetta Grey Lady. Now next thing that we'll do is we'll measure the leaf size with uh, I have my tool back so I uh, will set it to zero millimeter there you go and uh, measure some of the leaves of it so the leaf width are almost everything is almost uh, average but uh, I'll <clears throat> try to measure few le- uh, 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 few uh, of uh, gray ladies uh, leaf for you just so we can have a comparison of the average uh, measurement of the leaf size so there you go there's another one or it's almost the same so this one would be 28.8 millimeters the other one is 30 uh, millimeters let's try uh, this leaf here This one is 34 millimeters, so the leaf uh, leaf uh, width of a gray lady would uh, measure uh, at around uh, 29 millimeters to uh, 32 millimeter uh, <clears throat> measure. So uh, there you go. Uh, we're done uh, taking measurements of the leaf length and uh, leaf width. Uh, I have not uh, experienced any uh, bloom or uh, inflorescence from gray lady but as soon as uh, it gives me one I'll take time to record and uh, upload the progress of inflorescence or flower bloom for gray lady but as of now uh, it has not given me any inflorescence and uh, I'll just update you if I ever have uh, a flower bloom, a flower bloom from uh, Santibirita Fischetta Grey Lady. So I guess uh, this is it for this uh, feature. And uh, on the next uh, episode, I would uh, be featuring uh, still a Grey Lady, but it is the variegated uh, version of it. So uh, please. Uh, stay tuned and uh, please subscribe to the channel so you can be updated on the uh, Sansevieria species or Sansevieria uh, topics that we upload uh, on a weekly basis for uh, the channel. So uh, I guess uh, this is it folks. If you have any questions or any clarifications, uh, don't uh, hesitate to uh, comment on the uh, episode below. And uh, if I have time, I will be answering all your uh, questions or uh, your clarifications for uh, the episodes that I feature. So, uh, folks, this is it. Thank you for watching. And uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, everyone.